what's up everybody? Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Night Studios with another episode on Space Engineers. Um, this is a little bit different because... Drum roll. Ta-da! This is my 500 subscriber special. I can't believe we've actually broke 500 now. That's awesome. Um, so, I had come up with a bunch of ideas that were like... You know, we should do this for 500 subs, and then I was like, ah, that won't work. Why would I do that? No, that won't work. And some of them were technically like, you know, let's build a giant ship or something, but sometimes those big ships mess with my frames, and then it just wouldn't be fun. Things like that. So I decided to do a my attempt. It's probably going to end poorly, but my attempt at a fireworks display... Um, this has given me some interesting ideas, actually, but, um, basically all I did was I ran a, a line, small ship, out to the edge and put a bunch of cannons, now that the cannons work. You can see them. Woohoo! So we have our fireworks display, yay! Um, now one other thing. Okay, stop, stop, stop. You'll notice I put the, uh the two in the center there up a little higher. If you watch the missiles as they fly, you can see them sticking out there. Um, so that's given me a few ideas for how you might actually be able to do fireworks kind of thing. Um, you'd almost... Hmm. The only problem would be closed off ones. Um, like a square shape going up because you'd have to have um, missiles going twice and or you, yeah that's the only way you could do it because if you had two rows of missiles they'd hit each other and then it wouldn't be oh I take that back you could do a layered anyway so this is my fireworks display or my first attempt at one woohoo Okay, my frames are starting to hate me now. And, this is not a completely unproductive episode, by the way. Um... You, thank you. They did do a game update, which is pretty fun, and, um... Th it's not as big as some of the other updates have been, so I'm not sure if there's enough to make a whole episode out of it, but basically the refinery and assembler are now functional. Um, so what I'm gonna do is let's replace or just add, I guess. Can I just add these? Maybe not. Um, what do I need to place these? Um, okay, that's you're not cooperating. Oh, there we go. We'll just put one in the center. If I can ever... Why does it want to put it so far back? Alright, hold on. It keeps wanting to put it, like, way back on... I want... I want the tip out here... On this block. Come out! Arr! I don't understand that. That's annoying. You know what? Screw it. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. This is going to be a derpy ship now. <laughs> um, not to mention discolored. But you know what? You gotta work with what you gotta work with. Um, now I'm not gonna do the... Uh, did I just close off? I did. Awesome. You have to give yourself access to the... Oh gosh, it's the same problem again. On you stupid drill. There we go. Goodness gracious. I just want to test. I don't even want you to work properly. Um, drill. <laughs> so you can make a hole with missiles, and then you can make a hole with a drill. Woohoo! Progress. Oh, this ship is not built for the torque of this thing. That's for sure. The nice thing about these drills, though, is you don't have to. Um, 
Alright, hold on. You know what? That's just stone. We need... There, that looks like something. Let's fly over here. Um, the nice thing as opposed to the hand drills, though, uh, for those that have not seen my other episodes, uh, they these drills on the front of ships keep the... Um, come on. Come on. Get back into balance. Thank you. These drills keep the ore in the drill, uh, so you don't have to go everywhere looking for them. But this is cool though, now that the drills are working, the rock, the weapons are working... Um, oh, I take that back, there are still some that are flying away. But um, now the refinery is working and um, other stuff as well. So we're getting close, we're getting really close to an actual survival mode. Um, and for those of you that have not noticed, some of you may already have picked up on this, I have this currently, um, this uh, series set up as season one, is, is how I have it set up. My plan is this season will end when survival gets implemented, and then we'll actually do um, separate, like, let's build episodes, and then a separate, like, let's play series, so they'll end up being two playlists. Um, because this, because this is just to create, this looks like something, maybe this is just stone, but it, oh, oh no. Get out of the, give, give me that. That looked like ore. Well, there you go, boys and girls, don't run into the asteroid too quickly. I don't know, maybe stone is used for something. We'll find out. Um, so anyways, this I started this as a Let's Play because I really didn't know what all was involved in the game. And, <coughs> excuse me, since there was, it's basically just a creative mode at the moment, it kind of turned into more of a Let's Build than a Let's Play. So, um, when Survival gets implemented, we will probably do a Season 2. And then possibly, if everyone is still interested in just the building aspect, then I'll do a separate Let's Play series. I mean, Let's Build, sorry. So basically, what happens now... Oh wow, I got a bunch of different stuff. Well, that's cool. Uranium. Hey, this is a good way... Okay, this is now an educational game. This is a great way to learn the periodic table. Platinum. Gold? AU? Gosh, this is why I failed at chemistry. How the heck is AU gold? That makes... I don't... I'm sure it makes sense to... Silver is AG instead of SI. That... Okay. Magnesium makes sense. Cobalt makes sense. Ice. That's random. Nickel. Iron is FE. I remember that, but I always thought it was stupid. Um, so basically, how this works is you can put different... We're just going to put all these in here just to play around with it and see what it does. Uh, like so. And at the moment, I believe you just leave. I think. Yes. So when you leave and come back, it takes what it can, I guess. Nickel ingot. So apparently you need more than 450 to make an ingot, I guess. Sure. Um, so you basically drag stuff in here, and then you exit, and when you come back... Let's see if stone does anything. It's refined, is the idea. And at the moment, the T button doesn't do anything, which is the usual interact, but if you hit K and then go to inventory, is how you get to it. Okay. Um, so this is also where storage units are going to come into play. Where? I thought World started with a storage thingy. Maybe not. Let's just do a small container. Okay. So now, what you can do is take this over to the assembler, and there are new things. Metal grid, gr girder, 
Small steel tube. Display. Ooh, how do I make a display? Blueprint. Blueprint print materials. Blueprint materials. <laughs> Sorry. So, these all have um, blueprint materials. <clears throat> oh, that's cool. Oh, okay, that's just the control panel to turn them on. Never mind. Um, so when you click on stuff, reactor components, so you'd need uranium ingot, magnesium, iron, gravel? I guess. Gold and platinum to make reactor components. Now, again, this is probably the basics, or not basics, the um, skeletal frame uh, for medical component for um, survival. Bulletproof glass. Ooh! Silicon wafer and magnesium. Okay. I want to see how that works. So, because um, you're you're gonna need all these different things basically, and these will unlock new recipes for stuff. Show character inventory. Um, all right, let's yeah, let's let's dump some of this crap. Okay. Uh, and all containers, I guess, now spawn with random, uh, yeah, random thingamajiggers, ores, is the word I was looking for. Now, I don't know if the grinder is imp- I don't think the grinder or the torch are implemented yet. We'll see. Okay. So, this kind of gives you a feel for how some of the survival stuff will work, with the exception of, like, the buttons may be more responsive and all of those types of things. Did ice? I think we said ice didn't do anything, right? Oh, ice did do something. Potassium, cobalt, ingot, gravel, silicon, wafer, iron, magnesium, nickel, silver, gold... Platinum, uranium. So ice. Did that make potassium? I don't know. I'm not a chemist. I'm not even an engineer. I just play games about them. Um, what did this need? Silicon and magnesium, right? What do I have? Cobalt and nickel. So none of what I need. I wonder if these are new placeable blocks. I don't think they are. I think at the moment they're just in inventory and then you can drop them. Um, as long as I got that stuff, should be fine. Let's take the uranium. Is that platinum? Platinum. So let's take the uranium and the gravel. And see what we can make with this. I'm still wondering... I guess this medical stuff isn't implemented yet. Um, so, but they're working on it, which is cool. Okay, um, so like this. We've got silicon and magnesium. Do I have enough, actually? So I need... I do not have enough. Oh my! That's 30 and 9? This is 0.7. And this is 0.6. Oh, wow. So, you need a lot for bulletproof glass. How about a display? No, nope, enough of that either. Uh, gravel, we don't... Uh, magnesium, we don't have enough. Let's try something... Ah, basic. Here we go. I have just enough magnesium. And I need one iron bar for components. Or uh, for construction components. So let's see what that does. Or if it does anything. It may not do anything. Oh! Okay. I'm sure this will get fixed at some point to where you can't carry 2,000 kilograms. I don't know how much weight that is. That might be a lot. Uh, bu 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 okay. So, 1 and 0.6. So then we'll drop this in the assembler, right? I think. 
So that's in the assembler now. And click on nothing produced right now. Uh, do we put this down? No. Hmm. Okay, let's just see if it makes it on its own. No, it does not. Oh, you double click. Okay, so double click. Now back out. Oh, and it's prog it's 18%. Oh, so there's a, like a progress bar to it. That's cool. Okay. You done yet? Darn it. How about now? Darn it. You done? Darn. Done? Yay! <laughs> Alright. Um, so, do we double click or drag or- oh, inventory, okay. Let's put this here, drag this back out, okay. Now see, because this is in creative, I can't like access my bar, I don't think. So, pretty much there's nothing we can do with it because there's no way to drag to our hot bar, but you can drop. I guess. So there you go. There's construction components that you can carry across the floor. At the moment. Hey, we could play... We could make a soccer court or something. That would be kind of funny. Um, so yeah. I mean, that gives you the basics idea that... Basics idea? Hmm. I think I meant basic idea. That you can now... Dig up stuff, take it to a refinery, make it into something else, and build something with an assembler. So all of these, the storage crates, the refinery, and the assembler have now kind of become purposeful, I guess, if that's a word, to where they have a point now. Um, so it's not a huge update. Um, they also did some minor bug fixing and tweaking here and there, but um, the big thing is that it's kind of that one sm no no pun intended being space and all the one small step for man thing but it's one step forward closer to a survival mode where you're just thrown out here and have to make stuff which i'm really looking forward to i'm i'm excited about that because um ooh, what is that let's let's throw a drill on this guy before we end the episode and find out what that block is down there um but I'm really excited for it because um, I don't know that I've mentioned it on camera or not, but I've discussed it with um, Bass Play and Adrian, other people that I know, um, about how, like in Minecraft and stuff, the survival modes to me carry so much more weight. Because um, not that not that being creative isn't cool and all. I mean, some of the stuff I've seen in the Steam Workshop from this game just blow my mind. Uh, Kind of makes me wonder why anybody watches my stuff, to be honest, when I've seen some of these crazy, um, just massive... Somebody built a Borg cube, and it was like one-to-one -one accurate, perfect design something. It was just nuts. Um, you know, stuff like that. So that always kind of amazes me, is just what people can come up with in their head. Um, but, you know, when you do something that large scale, and then... Um, you know, it's actually, you worked and, and mined and refined every single brick that went into a, a ship or a space station. When we do a survival build, I will probably be focused, not on like Minecraft, more on the space station at first to get like a base going. Um, and then maybe do some cool ships and things like that, but, um, I don't know. That's something, let me know if, uh about that in the comments if you guys would like to see space station designs and not just mobile ships. Um, I do plan on finishing the glitch ship that I started before m doing other projects. I don't want to do like more than one at a time. I like to stay focused on stuff. Um, so I will probably finish that. I don't really think it'll take that long. Um, I'm not planning on it being a 20 part series or anything like that. Um, the most difficult part will be getting the outline done and then building it out to a 3D shape. Um, so I'm planning on doing that first. Let's see if we can't 
Access this guy. Drill. Nothing. What? How, how do you not have nothing? Or how do you have nothing? Um, crap. And I put my tools away. Seriously? Oh, maybe it's because this is blocked. Is it because this is blocked? That it can't pick anything up? Drill, drill, drill. Um, what was I saying? Yes. So, I do have a couple plans after the glitch ship will probably be... Um, somebody mentioned doing a, a turtle. Like a giant turtle that would actually move as slow as a turtle and just have the shell and inside the shell was the interior of the ship. I think that's funny and I will probably do that. Um, especially since we all know I'm good at making slow ships. I can't make things move very fast for some reason. I can make them move slow. Okay, so this might be an ore that's not implemented yet. I'm, I'm thinking. Ooh, this just creeps me out. I'm always waiting for some like monster to jump out at me. Um, yeah, sorry, my, my, I'm scatterbrained today, I'm doing all kinds of stuff. Um, so, and I've said I'm um, like nine times. But, the plan here is I'm gonna work on the glitch ship. When that's done, um, I don't know what my, I'll, I might do the turtle thing, I might do other projects if I come up with something in the meantime. Um, there I go again. But let me know in the comments if you guys would also like to see, like, space station designs or something that aren't mobile and don't need to go anywhere, but just big sprawling ships that go from asteroids to asteroids, because that sounds fun too, and it's something I've never done before, so it would kind of be fresh and give us something new to work on. Um, but yeah, so the big point of this episode was the game updated, and now that we're one step closer to survival, and we have hit 500 subscribers, which just is amazing to me especially when in October we were only at like 40 or something so thank you all for the support it is very appreciated and very encouraging more than anything um, I won't lie I am not the most uh, confident builder in the world I usually look at it that I really can't build that well and I just kind of get by but um, people keep you know positively saying good things about my stuff and keep subscribing so it's definitely an encouragement boost and a confidence booster so thank you all for the support I really hope that it continues and we can continue to do cool and creative and crazy things together um, so I hope you all enjoyed feel free to leave feedback and your ideas on future builds and all that stuff it always gives me I can never have too many ideas I'll put it that way because at some point whatever projects you're working on always end so, it's always good to have stuff in the backlog uh, for things that you can do after whatever you're working on is done. So next episode, we'll probably be working on the glitch ship. Um, but yeah, feel free to uh, leave your feedback and ideas, and I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!